Jackie Gregoire understands the significance of introducing her students to mentors. She's been building relationships with scientific facilities and research parks like Innovation Place. Austin Beggs is executive director of corporate relations at the park. He explains how the program works. During the independent study period, they attempt to find or uh, uh, go out of their way to try and enter into a relationship with one of the organizations here to talk about a specific piece of uh, uh, study or activity that's of interest to the students. And the guidance counselors and the teachers of Centennial set that up in conjunction with the students and the organizations here on site. So it's a very interactive arrangement between the, the teacher, the organization, and the student. The Canadian Light Source and VITO, the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization, both located on the University of Saskatchewan campus, have also enthusiastically opened their doors to the CAS program, yeah, really providing good. guided oh. tours and a chance to meet real yeah. scientists on the cutting edge of research. Here's what students had to say after a recent tour. I learned like what we're doing here in Saskatoon like, and the efforts we're putting in and the things we're coming up with and also ways that society is evolving to cope with these viruses and bacteria that would normally have killed us hundreds of years ago. We don't even worry about them anymore. Well, I think it's good to experience what other people around the city are doing because as high school students, we really don't get that opportunity to see what uh, the adults and people are doing in the communities. I just uh, find it really interesting. I'm not planning into going into maybe this field of science, but it's just uh, good to know the background information. How important do you think um, it is to have a, a, a program like CAST at Centennial? I think it's really important. Uh, it gets people more involved in science and it really takes learning to a new level. Dr. Scott Knapper is Vito's program manager for emerging diseases. He says he was impressed with the way students were able to grasp some of the more complex scientific concepts. One of the things we tend to do in academia, we tend to take fairly simple ideas and put very complex terminology on it. So even when we're saying something quite simple, we can sound quite clever. But with these students, because they don't have that terminology, you're really forced to get down to core concepts, which they do understand. And it really forces you to step back and think about what you're doing. And I was really impressed with how quickly the students picked up on the big picture of what we were doing and asked some questions of, of things I hadn't thought of. Recently, a small group of CAST students submitted a proposal to Saskatoon's world-renowned Canadian light source, where a specialized machine called a synchrotron generates intense beams of X-rays and infrared light, allowing scientists to view the inner workings of a myriad of substances, from metals to gases. Colin Mignelli, Andrew Hansen, Palak Suryavanchi, her brother Safal, and Miriam Wasim were thrilled to learn that their project about acid rain and soil nutrients in prairie grasses was chosen by CLS, and now they were going to team up with scientists to conduct an experiment at the synchrotron. Tracy Walker is Educational Outreach Coordinator with CLS. For me, as an educator, to watch that exchange where students have, have ideas I want to look at, well, and, and they have ideas from all over the place and then watch the researcher um, talk to them and, and help them, them formulate precisely what they want to look at and get more specific and more precise so that it's still the student's ideas but it's also uh, an experiment that can be done on a synchrotron in the, the span of time that we're talking about. But before the experiments can begin, the group from Centennial must find a suitable soil sample. Jackie Gregoire has invited University of Saskatchewan soil scientist Adam Gillespie to help give the students a hand. Here in the lab, the soil is sorted, weighed, and a very small sample prepared for the beamline at the synchrotron. Gillespie says he's pleased to see students having the opportunity to get out of the classroom and learn real science. The idea of having a solid semester of science uh, projects keeping the group small, uh, letting the kids have a lot of, you know, individual contact with uh, profs, or I guess teachers in their case, and, uh, and also bringing in uh, people who, who aren't actually in the high school system to help mentor, uh, I think is great. I mean, these uh, they get a different approach and uh, get to try some interesting projects. And plus they have the opportunity to do a bit of work at the synchrotron, which isn't something that uh, a lot of people get a chance to do. The evening before the big event at the Beamline, 
Palak and Safal Suryavanji are showing their parents how the synchrotron works. Having only been in Canada a year, the Suryavanchis were a little unsure of what to expect from the CAST program. But they say as soon as they spoke with their children's teachers, all fears disappeared. Though the children knew English language, but I wasn't sure whether the accent they will be able to pick up, the speed of English they will be able to pick up, and then what they've been studying there, is it the same what they'll be studying here or will it be a different thing? There were a couple of more things what came to mind, but gradually they all washed off. They all washed off. They did. No, they are doing very well in their school. Across town, another member of the team, Colin Mignelli, is relaxing, playing Scrabble with his sister and mother. Phyllis Mignelli says since Colin started with Centennial's CAST program, she's noticed a positive change in her son. Oh, I think it's improved for him because he's able to show with the more hands-on things that he does know the information instead of always having to write it down, which is for him. And I think he really enjoys interacting more with the teachers and, and the hands-on. So it's been a big improvement for him.